Good morning team. Today we're going to be looking at the HCM to go app, which is our new payroll and HR app. Over here we're going to be able to see all kinds of pay stubs, W2s, as well as any notification announcements or paperwork. So first we're going to go to our search bar in our app store and we're going to search HCM to go. It's this one. And we're going to press install. Once it's installed, we're going to press open. And then put in our region, which is North America, and our company short name, which is capital C, capital H, 50005. Press continue. And over here, you're going to be putting in your username and password. Your password the first time around is going to be welcome with a capital W at sign and the number one and afterwards it's going to ask you to change your password to change your password it has to be a password that has more than eight overall characters a special character like a at sign or any one of these on bottom and it has to have a capital and a lowercase if it's your first time signing in, it's going to ask you to verify your phone number. Just make sure that the text message phone number and the voice phone number is correct. And then you're going to press here to configure your account to make sure that it's actually you. So I'm going to press text message and then send text message. Now I got a text message and it says the code is 695685. Then I'm going to check this box to make sure that I don't have to verify myself in the future and then press continue. Once I'm in, I'm going to be able to see all of my information that I need as an employee. So I'm going to have my mailbox over here my saved reports, and if I want to make any notes for myself, I have my sticky pad. Additionally, if you go to the left side, you'll see three lines, and this is going to be your hub where you're going to go into. So if you go down to where it says my pay, you can go to pay history and see all of your pay. Additionally, if you go to direct deposit, you can change your direct deposit information, and there's other features that we're going to be speaking about later in your training. The last thing that I do want to show is if you see on top there's a bell icon with the number four. This bell icon has two tabs right now. There's going to be a third tab that's going to be added afterwards and it's basically going to show you your notifications as well as your to-do lists. I hope this video was helpful. If anyone has any questions please feel free to reach out.